Hey everyone, Ozzy Otaku back again with my final Dragon Ball review. Um, today we'll be taking a look at Viz Big 5, which you can see in front of you. And this one contains volumes 13, 14, 15 and 16. So I'm just going to get straight into it, because four volumes, quite a bit happened. And yeah, so volume 13 saw Piccolo fight Roshi. He gets the Dragon Balls and wishes for eternal youth. And he ends up killing the dragon Shenlong, which uh, really, really pissed me off, because he was one of my uh, favorite things about this series. Um, Goku goes to um, Karen Sanctuary again, and gets even more stronger than he already is. Piccolo ends up becoming the king, and Goku fights Piccolo, which was a really, really epic fight. Uh, volume 14 saw Goku defeat Piccolo, and uh, that was awesome, but Piccolo actually does something. He actually um, sort of created a junior version of himself through an egg. Um, Goku goes to the sanctuary and meets God. He brings back Shenlong and Dragon Balls, and he brings back Roshi, Kurin, and Gozu, um, who were previously killed. Um, Goku does more training, the gang ends up meeting up again at the Tenkaichi Budokai tournament, and they're all a lot older now. Um, Goku, Yamcha, Kuririn, Ten, and uh, Piccolo Jr. all make the final eight. Um, so, yeah. Uh, volume 15 saw Goku meeting up with Chi Chi again, who we met in an earlier... Uh, volume and uh, that was pretty funny because at first he had no idea who she was um, she's one of the uh, she was one of the uh, fighters in the tournament um, Curran ends up fighting Piccolo Jr but he withdraws um, Shen who's actually God in um, human form there's a little bit more of a story which I'll get to later on in regards to his character he ends up beating Yamcha. That fight was um, pretty ridiculous. Um, Yamcha really had no chance and was just pretty much made to look like a complete fool. Um, Goku ends up beating Ten. And then the end of the volume see Shen vs Piccolo Jr. Okay, so volume 16, which was the grand finale, we have Shen vs Piccolo Jr. And um, their fight starts off pretty interesting. Basically, they have their own dialogue together, which the audience can hear, but they cannot understand. And this is when it's revealed that Shen is actually the god Kami-sama, and he and Piccolo actually used to be one entity together. Basically, he came back in human form to defeat Piccolo. Um, so what happens when they first start fighting is... Um, Shen or God tries to capture Piccolo in a bottle with Mafu Bar, but it sort of backfires on him. Piccolo repulsed it, and Shen ends up getting caught in the jar. Um, so that's sort of the end of that fight. Then Piccolo ends up fighting Goku, and both are extremely strong. This was a really epic showdown. Um, and more is revealed about Piccolo Jr. being created when um, the original Piccolo died. And he's actually much stronger than the original Piccolo. Basically, the group had no idea. And it's all sort of explained during the fight with him and Goku. Um, so they fully understand what is going on now. Um, that was a pretty cool story point. Um... Another awesome thing happened when Piccolo basically grew into a massive giant. Um, now, backtracking a bit, what what he did with um, Shen when he captured him in the bottle is he swallowed the jar. Um, but when he grows into a giant, Goku ends up going into his mouth, gets the bottle, and brings back Kamisama, uh, which was pretty cool. So, yeah, the fight continues... Goku almost dies, but he ends up winning. Um, Piccolo ends up leaving, and Goku and um, Chi Chi go on their cloud. 
and that is pretty much where the volume wraps up so a lot is a lot is left open for Dragon Ball Z obviously which is the uh, continuation from the series um, I don't know the final volume it was good but I kind of felt the ending of the um, volume 16 was a little bit lackluster I mean they didn't really celebrate Goku's win too much and um, yeah it was just sort of like okay Goku defeated Piccolo Piccolo is now gone he's not dead or anything but he just uh, went away um, Goku basically decided not to kill him because he wants to um, continue on with the rivalry um, but yeah then it just sort of ended the group sort of didn't really congratulate Goku too much um, they just sort of departed in their own separate ways basically um, so I kind of wish there was a little bit more um, to do with the ending but obviously it's going to continue on with Dragon Ball Z so it wasn't an actual um, finale of the series or anything um, official like that so yeah, um, there you go, that is my um, quick rundown and review of this big five volumes 13, 14, 15 and 16. Okay, so that now concludes my reviews for the Dragon Ball manga series, five is bigs and volumes 1 through 16. So as I said in my very first review video, this was the very first time that I've experienced the series and overall I thought it was absolutely fantastic. Akira Toriyama has done a great job not only with the story and characters but also with the artwork. The artwork being older style I thought holds up really really well um, especially next to some of the more modern series out there but yeah the artwork was fantastic as well especially during the fight scenes there was a lot of great use of really fine detail and shading and it just made all the fights look pretty epic. Um, also another thing that really impressed me is the way that the story and character development really hooked me in and kept me pretty interested throughout the whole series especially considering it's a fairly um, kind of repetitive type of series um, you know the group go on the Dragon Ball adventure to try and find them a few times um, they've also entered the Tenkaichi Budokai tournament quite a few times so it's quite a sort of rinse and repeat style series but despite that it kept me interested from start to finish just the way that the uh, characters and story were developed you were introduced to a lot of new characters and villains throughout it was really well paced and I really enjoyed Goku um, just Goku's character and how you s saw him pretty much grow from a really um, basic character into a really mature and extremely strong fighting character so yeah if you're one of the few people that have still yet to check out the Dragon Ball series I definitely highly recommend it and I will definitely be continuing on with Dragon Ball Z um, I'll probably wait a month or two before I start getting into Dragon Ball Z just to give myself a little bit of a break and just absorb how amazing uh, Dragon Ball was. So I'd like to thank everyone that's been watching my reviews of the series. This has been a really good uh, bunch of videos for me to do and a pretty good um, reference point really for me if I ever want to go back and uh, just yeah remember what I thought of the series overall considering it was uh, my first time experiencing such a well-known and classic series but yeah um, I'm starting to ramble so I will wrap up this video but yeah I hope everyone's enjoyed these reviews and I'll definitely intend to do a lot more series reviews like this in the future so yeah thanks for watching